Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. We are starting our flat braid join for our double daisy granny squares. So let's get started. So to start, you're going to need your squares and your next color of yarn. I am doing one row around my squares in this nice parchment, just one row of single crochet. So to get started, I'm just going to pick a corner and I'm going into the front of my work, the pretty side. So I'm just going to put my hook into a corner spot, loop of yarn on my hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both to join. Drop my tail and I'm going to chain one and one single crochet into that same corner spot. Just like that. Now into each stitch, making sure I start in this beginning one, this one straight after the corner, one single crochet and one single crochet into each stitch going all the way along the side. And single crochets are just going in without wrapping your yarn, bringing your yarn back, wrapping your yarn and taking off two. And you can just drop your tail after you've worked over a little bit and we can weave it back with a needle later. So it's half worked in. And now just keep going one single crochet into each stitch and I'll meet you at the corner. When you get to your corner, make sure you go into the last stitch before the corner and then into the corner. This one looks a bit funny because I've worked my tail back and forth around that corner. So into the corner, two single crochets, one and two, a chain one and two more single crochets, one and two. Now here's my chain, so I'm just going to make sure I go into my chain to make a single crochet and also into the next stitch, single crochet. And now you're going to keep going around all the way along, one single crochet into each stitch and into each corner, two single crochets, a chain one and two single crochets and I'll meet you when we get to where we started. When you reach your corner, make sure you go into that last stitch and then into the corner space, two single crochets, a chain one, and now we're just going to slip stitch to join. So I'm going to slip stitch into this first stitch, just get my hook in, and slip stitch to join, chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug this down to secure. So this is a perfect time to do this round on all of your squares. They're all going to need this and we're changing our yarn for the rest of the join. So you're going to have to do all of your ends as well. So it's a good time to do that and get them all caught up to here and I'll meet you back. So this is our, this is where we finished off our yarn on the last round. That, this corner. So I'm going to go to the previous corner and join my yarn over here. To join your yarn, you're going to put your hook in between these four single crochets. So right in that center where we did the chain one, we're just going to put our hook straight inside there. Get a loop of yarn ready and put it on your hook. Pull it through and chain one or slip stitch with both to join. Drop your tail. This tail we're going to have to work in completely, so leave a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. And now we are going to chain two, one and two. Uh, if you're joining your yarn in a different manner, then do a chain three. But that first slip stitch with both, I count it as my first chain. So that would be my chain three. You're going to skip two stitches, one and two, and into the third stitch, underneath both loops, you are going to do a single crochet. So single crochet, chain three, one, two, and three, skip two, one and two, into the third single crochet. So we're going to keep going like this, doing a chain three, one, two, three, skipping two stitches, one and two, and into the third stitch, doing a single crochet. So we're going to do this all the way around. I will meet you at the corner and I'll show you what we do there. As we get to the corner, it works the same. I do a chain three and skip two, so one and two, and that leaves me in the corner space. So into the corner space, single crochet, and now do your chain three, one, two, and three, and into the same spot, so still in between those single crochets in the very corner, 
make one more single crochet. So that gives us a joining loop right in our corner. Chain three again, one, two, three, skip two, one, two, into the third, single crochet. Keep going like this all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to our join. So now we're getting close to where we started our chain over on that side. So I did the same chain three and we're gonna skip two and that leaves us in our corner spot. So single crochet and chain three again, one, two, and three. And now in this stitch, in that first slip stitch we did, I'm just gonna push my hook in the middle of that and slip stitch to join. So just a slip stitch and a chain one. And cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now this tail also you're gonna have to sew in so leave a long enough tail where you don't have to fight it. So this one is finished. You set it aside. I usually I leave mine just at the top of my work. I leave it up there. And we're going to start with our second square, the one we're going to be joining together. So this one, we're going to do the same thing just along one side before we start joining. I'm going to join my yarn in the same spot, that chain one in the center of the corner. Loop of yarn on my hook long enough to sew in with a needle later. Slip stitch with both to join and drop your tail. Chain two more, one, two. If you join your yarn in a different way, do a chain three. Skip two, one and two, into the third single crochet. So we're gonna finish this side the same way as we did the other square. All the way along, I'll meet you at the corner. Let us change this to black, so I think you can see it a little better. When we're getting to the corner, I did my same chain three and I'm gonna still find my chain one spot in the center over there. It's kind of more different because, well you have to just find your chain three spot. And single crochet in the center of that corner. So two single crochets on each side while you're join and you're single and your two singles on the side where you are. And then chain one. You're gonna do half of your loop and then join. So this one, we're gonna turn it because we're gonna be joining along this edge. Get all my ends back there. Get the one that you have finished and I just keep this one on top of where I am working. And we're gonna join from this square that's down below closest to you to the one that's above you. And now you're gonna join straight into that corner loop because we're working on our corner loop here. So we're gonna join into our corner loop there. Now to join, I make a bigger loop and I take my hook out. I put my hook down into that corner and put the loop back on my hook, shrink it up and pull it through. Now I'm gonna chain two, one and two. So I did a chain and then pulled my loop through and did two more chains, so that's still three. And back into the corner of my piece closest to me and single crochet. So that finishes our first join. Chain one for your next, bigger loop. Put your hook down into your work, into the next loop of the square you've already finished. Put your loop of yarn back on your hook, shrink it down pull it through and chain two. So you do one chain before you join and then two chains after. So that still gives you your three. Now along the bottom, we are going to skip two stitches, one, two, into the third single crochet. So on our bottom, we're still doing our loops. So we're still doing a chain three, skip two, single crochet. And we're just looping into these loops on the top in the middle of our chain. So that was our single crochet. You can see that it's just a single crochet because there's two loops of yarn underneath your hook. If you did a chain, there's only one loop underneath your hook. So that's how you can kind of tell what you just did in case you were talking too much and forgot. You can also just go straight in without taking the loop off of your hook. That just doesn't, um, well I can show you what you do like that. So then you would just do your chain two, one and two, and that just kind of hooks it together like a little zigzag. It doesn't loop it straight through. 
Let me join that one so you can see it. And you can decide which one you like best. And the difference is just taking your, the loop off of your hook. So this one, it goes, it goes from behind and through and back across. And if you don't take it off of your hook, it just joins and comes back like a zigzag. So you get either a looping through and back like a braid or you get a zigzag. The zigzag is faster because you don't have to take the loop off of your hook, but I like the actual look of the twisted yarn through each loop, so like an actual braid. But that's the difference and both are totally a good way of doing it. You, you can pick what you like to do. So now moving along, I'm going to take that last one off because I like to put my empty hook into the work and then the loop back on. So that just pulls the chain through the other loop and gives you the total braid look. So skip two, single crochet, chain one, loop up into the next spot, hook down, loop back on, drag it through, chain two, Skip two, single crochet, chain one, loop up, put your hook down into the next empty loop, yarn back on your hook, bring it through, chain two, skip two, single crochet, chain one, loop up, my yarn sorted out hook down into the next empty spot, yarn back on the hook, bring it through, chain two, skip two, single crochet. So you're going to do this all the way along, chain one, loop up, and just keep your work flat so you can see where your next spot is. Yarn back on the hook, bring it through, chain two, skip two, single crochet, chain one, loop up, hook down into your next spot, yarn back on your hook, bring it through, chain two, single, skip two, single crochet into the third, chain one, loop up, hook down into the next space, yarn back on your hook, bring it through, chain two, skip two, single crochet into the third, chain one, bigger loop, hook out, hook into the next empty space, shrink it down, bring it through, chain two, and skip to a single crochet. So this gets us into the corner. If your stitch count is off, this is where you can kind of fudge it, because all you need to count are the loops on each side, and it's very forgiving way of joining, because if there's an extra stitch or not an extra stitch, it's forgiving. You just need the same number of loops on each side. And now we're going to go into our corner space, so single crochet into our corner space, chain one, loop up. Now we're going to go, if you're doing it, you can look and it feels like it's not lined up. It feels like this one is way over here and this one's way over there, but it's not. Don't panic. Put your hook into the next space, because you just have to remember you're still doing your corner. Loop back on, bring it through, chain two, and now we're going back into the same space. Back into the corner, single crochet. Now we have finished the join on that side. That is what it looks like. Nice flat braid joint, and you can see because we took our hook out, it's really nice and twisted. Each of these nice little twists, it looks like an actual twisted braid. That's from taking your yarn off of your hook and putting it on again and bringing it through. That gives the real twist. So now just keep going doing your loops all the way around, and I will meet you at the join. Into the corner space, single crochet, chain three, and slip stitch into the center of that join you made. Slip stitch, chain one to, to secure your yarn. And cut your yarn leaving a long enough tail. These ones we have to sew in. 
So I leave like a six or seven inch tail, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So keep going making this as long as you want your row to be. We're going to work on one row and then we're going to join the next row and so on and so on. So when this row is as long as mine is going to be, I'll come back and we'll show you how to build on the side. So I have the strip done, my row. I have eight of these squares joined in a long row and I started joining another square the same way just this way so I put this edge up, up top and I joined and I worked my way along and then I realized I wasn't filming it <laughs> I was on a roll so this is the tricky part here where we're joining so I will show you that so I've done my chain one hook out into the space bring it through, chain two, skip two, that should get us to our corner, single crochet, chain two, so here we're doing one extra chain to get some some distance to get into that spot over there, and we're not going to join to this square, we're going to join opposite, so you cross over, not the one touching with the wall, but the one point to point, so find that corner space of the opposite corner, put your hook down and you're just doing the same way bring it up and do a chain one two three so we're adding one chain here and one chain there so you're doing a chain two in the corner and then finishing with a chain three and single crocheting to join and that is just for the ones that are going kitty corner just for that so that it can lay a bit flat now we turn our work a little bit and we're just going to finish this square like we always do. So chain three, skip two, and single crochet into the third. So keep going finishing off this square and then we will join this next one together. So I finished the first side of loops. So that needs loops. I've just done the one side and we're ready to start joining it in this area. So we're going to be doing, that's how we're going to be building our blanket. We did our first stripe and we attached and now we're going to finish building this column and then we're going to attach over here and then finish da 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 and we're going to keep going like that until we, our blanket is the size we want our blanket to be. I have done my single crochet over here. Let me move all this over so you can see it. So I've put my single crochet into that corner space. So I'm going to chain one like usual, like we're joining a regular side hook out, loop up into this corner space that we made over there. So we're just we're going to work along this side like we always have. So I guess this is nothing new. I'll meet you when we get to this side over there. When we get to the corner, I've just single crocheted into that corner space. So I'm going to chain two. Remember we're putting an extra chain before and after the join of the diagonal joints. Loop up. Now we're joining this square to the one opposite with the corners touching. So find that spot where we did that corner of the top square, loop back on your hook, bring it through, and now you're going to do a chain three, one, two, three, and back in to finish your loop on the square you're joining with a single crochet. So see how we've gone, if you join to, to the corners, you get a really nice full join and it's not a weak spot. So now we're going to turn your work, or spin it I suppose, not really turn, rotate and finish along this side, we're joining like we always have. So chain one, loop up and into the opposite loop, put it back on and continue joining like we have all the way down along this side. Skip to single crochet. So you keep joining like that all the way along your work and all the way along this row. And that's also how you are going to grow your blanket. So at the end of this row, we're joining this square to that square. So it's also a diagonal join. So remember to add an extra chain in the beginning and end of the join. So instead of chaining one, we're going to chain two, make a loop, find that same spot 
that corner on the other side, the corner loop, and bring your yarn through, chain three to three, and single crochet to the square that you are joining to make that join. There we are. Chain three, one, two, three. Now turn your work, rotate your work, I should say. And now just finish off this square to here and keep joining in the same fashion. And you can see this join in the center. It'd be better looking if I had, so if I had my ends sewn in, but you can see that join in the center is very strong. There's no big hole. You've gone over it and it's not pulling either because we put in those extra chains. So keep going and I will see you when your blanket is all joined up. When you have finished the edge on your very last joined square, your blanket is complete. We're going to do one more row of the chains and the single crochets so that the outside edge of your blanket will look the same as the middle of your blanket. So we've done our usual slip stitch to join. Now slip stitch into the next space. And chain three, one, two, three. And single crochet into the next space. Chain three, single crochet into the space. So now you're gonna work your way all the way around your blanket like that, doing a single crochet and a chain three. all the way along. When you get to a join and every join, you're going to do your single crochet into the top, into the center stitch here. That's tough. Just work your hook into the middle and do your single crochet. Like that, chain three and skip over to the next space that is not the, where you joined. So your joins, where your center is, is going to look like that. So now keep working all the way around until you get to your corner. I'll meet you there. When you get to your corner, do your same regular chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet into that spot you made in the corner. Do another chain three and another single crochet. So the same as we did down below, we're going to do on this row here, chain three three and keep working your way around. So for our next row we're just going to finish it off with single crochet to match this so the border will be completely finished unless of course you want to add on from there but this will be the basic starting ground. So pick any of these spots to attach your yarn. Put a loop of yarn on your hook and bring it through. Slip stitch with both to join and drop your tail chain one and I do apologize for the background noise my kids are in the chicken coop and my French Bulldog is barking repeatedly not he's very cute but he's not the smartest so into the same spot we're going to do three single crochets so one two three and straight jump over to the next one drop your tail three single crochets one two, three. So you're just going to work your way all the way around your blanket doing three single crochets into each of these spaces and I'll meet you at the corner. So into your corner space you're going to just do it regular so that is two single crochets, a chain one and two single crochets. So that just gives you enough distance to get around that corner without adding anything and then keep going putting three single crochets into each space until you meet up with where you started. And you can see that gives you a nice simple border. You don't even have to do more if you don't want to and it's balanced on both sides and it also matches the join area. So it's all even all the way around your blanket. So when you reach where you have joined your yarn, just slip stitch into that first stitch with a little slip stitch, chain one and cut your yarn. 
pull your hook up and your yarn through and you have finished your ground zero border. Now your, let me zoom out a bit if I can, now your border is the same as your squares and you could either leave it like this or do whatever border you'd like to do just building on to this row of single crochet. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial series. I'd love to see yours. If you've made any or have done any of this joining, please share it on our Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, we're also on Ravelry, and you can also send me an email if you're on none of those other platforms. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and have a super great day. Stay hooked.